this. Um, what? Hi. Ew, what the f who, who is this? Hi, I'm Joey. How are you? Oh, no. your name is Joey. No, I'm Mikey. Oh, you're Mikey. Yeah. Hi. Oh, my God. So sad. Hi, Jane. Hi. Nice to meet you. I Wait, you got each to... other? We used to be best friends back in the day. So hold on a second. What's the? What was the well, whole point? I of this? wanted to break his heart. Like I got oh, mine broken. Yeah. He had this like notion out of nowhere that I slept with his now ex-boyfriend. Out of nowhere, even though I witnessed it, you know, with my two eyes in person. Your boyfriend's trying to get with me. You're obsessed with me. You need to stop. First Ugh. of all, put your hand down. It's no, not because that serious. I don't want to. Look at you. So Next don't look at your me. Go the other way. There's plenty of space in the world. This is a reality show, not a horror show. I can't stand you. I can't stand looking at you. So oh my don't. God. Oh my Jesus. God. Like don't. <sighs> oh God. Okay. Time out. Okay. Yeah. Mikey, you and Mike had been pretty good friends, and at some point in your past, you had a boyfriend, and you're pretty sure that that boyfriend's slept or hooked um, up. I witnessed it, but he's going to deny it till the end, whatever. Did you? That's his no, I never, out with he, no or... I never did. He wanted to get with me. It doesn't matter. I didn't want any part of it. He groped me, and that was it. I had no part of it, not wanting okay. to do anything to do with it. Uh, so, so, and then what happened so, after that? You left, or? I didn't I didn't leave the party, of course not, but. but like, it didn't, did it go any farther? It didn't go any farther with him, no. But how long ago was this that something happened? It was like winter. Is that when Joey started, winter? When did Joey start? March. So your relationship ended because of what happened at that party? Oh, uh, yeah. And then you found him on Grinder and broke his heart as a sort of revenge. Yeah. So who's who's Joey? Whose picture is that? Some random guy yeah. that I found on Instagram. I don't even know him. OK. I don't know. I think it's just it's a sad story. You went five months talking to me, and it got you nowhere. I'm still living my best life ever in California. You're still Are here. you really, though? I Is am. living your best life living off of sugar daddies? I really don't think it's fair for you to be judging him right now. You just yeah, you kind of took five months of his life and kind really? of upended it. He's he took my relationship and ended it, so. Even like, if, if you were... I did get with your boyfriend, it wouldn't matter, because I would have done it much better than you anyway. I'm going to beat you at everything you ever do for your entire okay. life. You will always be uglier, older, disgusting. OK. <laughs> You're like covered in like Cheeto dust. Whatever. All right, I want to talk more. Can we just go like over there and have a talk without all yeah. the drama you want? Oh my god, he Bye. is disgusting. For the last five months, you've been in a relationship with him. And yet you came out here presenting as like this I got you revenge thing. I don't get it. I didn't really want it to get to that point. Like, I didn't even want to get to this point. Like, this is ridiculous, and it's been too long now, like, months of this, wasting my life trying to keep up with lies. It is messed up, what I did, and I'll own up to that. Like, he did some messed up things. I did some messed up things. So were you guys were, like, best friends. Were you, like, really close? We were really close, yeah. We were really, really close. Our moms are really good friends. Yeah. And then this whole situation happens. Obviously, mm -hmm. I feel trifled with. Mm -hmm. I feel hurt. But I'm not going to let it get to me because it wasn't real. Yeah. OK, so Desiree is a friend, mm -hmm. I guess. Is that her house? Yeah. How did she get involved in all this? I'm, like, good friends with her. And she said she would cover for me. She didn't want to do it. Like, it's all my doing, basically. I think it'd be nice for you guys to talk without all the fronts. Without the, you're ugly. And, like, just to actually sit without defenses and just be able to talk honestly about how you feel. Are you guys going to be there? Because I don't want to sit with him alone. OK. Yeah, then no. You don't have to. I got no more time to hear what you think about me. Has a part of you enjoyed having a friendship again with Mike? I don't know. I mean, I have my moments where I'm like, well, this is nice to be able to talk to him. But he's just going through life, taking advantage of everybody. He needs a wake-up call. I mean, look, even in the last few days, I've felt the same sort of carefree self-obsession. But you've been the one real thing for him since he moved to California. Someone he can open up to and be real with. So he's gonna, he's, this is gonna hurt for him. Stop all 
let's take a break. I feel like maybe if we could sit down and have a conversation in a new environment, you can come meet us somewhere, get a coffee or something to kind of reset, clear the air. There's a good chance that you guys could be friends again. I'm open to that. It just depends on his level of maturity right now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget, you can subscribe for more catfish content. And if you want to watch more right now, just click right here.